welcome to the session of theory of vibration this is mr chetanji kunapure assistant professor in department of civil engineering walchand institute of technology solapur so these are the learning outcomes at the end of this session students will be able to understand concept of dynamic load differentiate the static and dynamic analysis of structures they can prepare the models of structures also so in the introduction we will see dynamic loads there are two examples this is simply supported beam and second is the portal frame uh, in this the force is acting at the center which is function of time and in second case the lateral force is acting on the portal frame which is also function of time so both are time dependent forces in both the examples so definition definition wise the change in magnitude or position or direction with respect to time will be called as dynamic load so except dead load all loads are dynamic in nature however when the change is slow that is duration of vibration is greater than the time period of vibration of structures then only we can uh, designate that load as a dynamic load now these are the examples of dynamic load wheel load wind load crane load on gantry girder blast force these are the good examples of dynamic load now let's see the different difference between static analysis and dynamic analysis again there is example of simply supported beam now in this simply supported beam force f is acting at mid span now there are three points for the differentiation first is the solution now in static analysis the solution for this beam is unique mean shear force will be f by 2 bending moment will be f into the span by 4 so this solution is remaining same in static analysis whereas in the dynamic analysis the time dependent force is acting f of t which is a function force is a function of time so the solution will not be unique here the solution will be time dependent second point of differentiation is independent variable now independent variable in case of static analysis is x so y is the deflection which is dependent on x so x is the distance from one of the end so independent variable in case of dynamic analysis is x and t both so distance x and time duration of vibration both will govern the deflection y now the next is dynamic degree of freedom this uh, definition of this dynamic degree of freedom number of independent parameters required to define the configuration of a vibrating system at any time so there are three examples you can see here so this is a example of pendulum mass m which is connected by an extensible string now where the freedom is to be provided so that this pendulum will oscillate freely that is one thing second thing the definition the independent parameter which will define the configuration of this pendulum at any time so by definition and uh, by the freedom required to be provided theta is the degree of freedom in this pendulum system in second example simply supported beam mass is kept at mid span y is the deflection so y is the independent parameter this is degree of freedom in case of portal frame mass m that is the mass of this story y is the horizontal deflection or displacement of this frame so this is degree of freedom so these are the examples of degrees of freedom for a ferry system now we can designate this as single degree of freedom system in which only one is the degree of freedom now the next uh, two examples are there this is a example of compound pendulum we can designate this as a multi degree of freedom system now mass m1 mass m2 where uh, there are two degrees of freedom theta1 theta2 now theta1 is the degree of freedom provided for a mass1 theta2 is the degree of freedom provided for 
mass 2. You can observe there are two diagrams. One is A, second is B. In first diagram, A diagram, both the masses are on right hand side of neutral position. This is neutral position. And in second diagram, one mass is towards right of neutral position, second mass is towards left. So there are two masses and two modes of vibration. So title of these diagrams are also first mode of vibration and second mode of vibration. So this is example of compound pendulum of two degree of freedom system. So even this is called as a multi degree of freedom system. Now next thing, what does the degree of freedom represents? What is uh, the actually uh, use of this degree of freedom in the dynamic problem? Now degree of freedom represents the modes of vibration. So it gives the how many in how many modes the structure will vibrate. Now the third example is this three story frame idealized as a three degree of freedom system. So this is the three story frame. Mass of every story is lumped at floor level. Y1, Y2, Y3 are respective deformations. Now this is modeled as a pendulum system here. K1, K2, K3 are the stiffnesses of these three stories. Y1, Y2, Y3 are the displacements of these masses. Now here you can observe there are three diagrams. This is three degree of freedom system. Three story, three degree of freedom system. M1, M2, M3, three masses. So DOAF represents this frame will vibrate in three pattern, in three modes. This is first mode of vibration, this is second mode of vibration and this is third mode of vibration. Now let's go for a idealization of single story building. Now every physical system is a continuous system having distributed mass and elasticity. Following are the assumptions made in this idealization. So assumptions for discrete or lumped mass system, first is total mass of story is concentrated at its floor level. Girders in a building are infinitely rigid. Effect of axial forces are neglected. So here a single story frame is shown, mass M1 is lumped at the story level, Y1 is the displacement. Now lumped mass model is given here in which k1 is the stiffness y1 is the displacement m1 is the mass and this third is conceptual model it is, even it is called as wagon wheel model k1 is the stiffness of that story which is donated by spring m1 is the vibrating body which represents this story so this is single story frame idealized as a single degree of freedom system so our real life problem ground story building can be modeled as a lump mass system then a conceptual model is prepared here. Now one more example. So this is modeling of G plus 1 building, two story building. This is ground story. So infill wall is there. First story. One more infill wall is there. Story of first story the stiffness of first story is K2, stiffness of ground story is K1. F1 time dependent force is acting at per ground story, F2 time dependent force is acting at first story. Y1 and Y2 displacements are the respective displacements of these two stories. Now this is the conceptual model generated for this two story frame. Now this is vibrating mass 1 which represents the ground story. K1 is the stiffness of ground story. C1 is the damping resistance of this wall. So wall is represented by this piston dashboard arrangement and C1 is the damping coefficient of that uh, wall. Now F1 is the time dependent force for M1. 
नेक्स्ट इज एम टू विच इज द सेकेंड स्टोरी और सॉरी फर्स्ट स्टोरी एंड मास ऑफ दैट स्टोरी इज एम टू दिस इज कनेक्टेड टू द मास वन सो दैट इज ग्राउंड स्टोरी स्टिफनेस के टू इज द स्टिफनेस ऑफ दिस स्टोरी सी टू इज द डैम्पिंग रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस वॉल नाउ दिस इज द कंसेप्चुअल मॉडल फॉर टू स्टोरेज बिल्डिंग so y1 is the displacement for first mass y2 is the displacement for second mass so this two story frame real life problem is idealized in this way and a conceptual model is made then the free body diagram of this conceptual model is drawn and the analysis is made on that conceptual model now these are the references which you can refer for the current session Thank you